Hey everyone, welcome back and in this video I just want to take a little bit of time to just tell you how you can organize your pages in Next.js so that you don't have a lot of clutter here. So how you should technically create things is that inside pages just create a new folder. Actually inside pages create a new folder with whatever page you have. For example, this is my page one, right? And now inside this page one create an index.tsx file. When you do that, what's going to happen is that your page contents are still accessible on your domain.com slash page one. But now all the contents, all the relevant contents, in our case, it would be just TSX file and the styles file would be available inside this page one only. So we can have a styles.module.scss right here. And I can just go ahead and say that, you know, red is a color red right and now I can go ahead and just say export default function page one is uh, you know return h1 class name oops and then styles dot red and let's just go ahead and import the styles from our styles dot module dot scss file right so this is all we need and now we have a nice little page with us which has the the view and the logic and the styles part separated so if you go ahead and view page one right here what you're gonna see is that nothing happens because we have no content there but once i write hello there we get hello in red so that was just a quick little you know instruction on how you can organize things I prefer folders and actually folders would be very helpful as well when you're creating dynamic routes and stuff. So just keep that practice with you when you're starting off. So that would be all for this video. I'm going to see you pretty soon in the next one.